Here's our second voltage video where we're going to measure voltage with cursors. And this is the same oxygen sensor pattern we saw before. And the reason we want to check the amplitude of this sensor is to figure out if this sensor is biased, rich, or lean. Now, if it was biased, rich, it would never be able to produce a lean signal. And if it was biased, lean, it would never be able to produce a rich signal. Now, as we remember, high voltage, rich mixture, low voltage, lean mixture. So, I'm going to turn on the cursors. And we have them set up the right way. If we look, we're measuring everything horizontally now. And the cursors are on the screen. And we're going to put the bottom cursor, which is highlighted already, up to the A line. So we'll try to get that perfectly on the A line, which it is. We'll move the top cursor up to the highest peak that I can find here where I drove the oxygen sensor rich. And that's about it right there. We can see that I'm right here on this peak and that we're measuring 976 millivolts, which is 0.976 volts. And far exceeds the requirements of an oxygen sensor to produce. When an oxygen sensor can produce this type of voltage, we know it can see the lack of oxygen in the mixture. Now let's measure the lean side of the sensor, which would be down here, and I'm just going to move the same cursor and move it down. And we'll get right about here where that line is. And we see we're reading 152 millivolts. That's 1.152 volts. This, again, exceeds the 0.2 volts limits or 200 millivolt limit that we have on measuring an oxygen sensor. So we know we can read an abundance of oxygen and then a lack of oxygen. This sensor passes all the tests as we saw before. Its switch time from lean to rich was 60 milliseconds and its switch time from rich to lean was like 40 milliseconds. So I should be pretty much done checking this oxygen sensor.